Virgo, this is your Love Weekly, starting off with Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, King of Cups. And your person in this connection is coming in with Magician, Star Energy, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Well, the Two of Wands is all about Mars and Aries energy, so we're talking about really moving forward uh, with particular plans that you have, ideas, like you are charged up, you're ready for it, right? Okay, let's jump right into how do you guys see each other? Well, <clears throat> or how do you guys, what energy are you guys coming into the week with? Six of Swords energy for you and Magician for them. So you're packing up everything and you're splitting, you know what I mean, uh, Virgo? You are turning your back, you've learned what you need to learn, from where you've been, and now you're trying to move towards uh, definitely happier shores, calmer shores, calmer relationships, better relationships. The magician is how your person comes in. Well, they're they're on top of the world this week, right? They're feeling really good. They're at sort of they're at their high level. You know, everything is firing. Work is going well. Everything that they touch turns to gold. Everything is just working out for them this week, you know, and um, it feels good, right? Let's get some clarity on this. I want to know who, where are you leaving? <laughs> who are you leaving? Six of Swords, and then we'll go further in terms of how you guys see each other, the relationship, and possible future steps. But you, yeah. So Virgo, you're leaving uh, some toxicity, Eight of Swords, and they come in with the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands. Wow. Well, you, uh, Virgo, yeah, you're coming in with Eight of Swords. There's been, you you kind of are in this place where you're like, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm not going to take this anymore. You're laying down the law. You've been dealing with people, I think, recently that have just really made you feel like you have no choices, nowhere to move. Listen, you chose them though, right, Virgo? So Eight of Swords energy is like, okay, you got yourself in quite a toxic pickle, but you got yourself there. And so how are you remedying that? Well, you're bringing that King of Swords. You're bringing that, you know, lay down the law energy. You're starting to put boundaries in place with people that really do need boundaries. Um, and I think ultimately, Virgo, you're leaving. You're you're breaking up, I feel like. You're breaking up with someone here. I'm not entirely sure that that someone is this person, though. It may indeed be this person. As I see ahead, you see yourself in this relationship as walking away. So it could very well be that your person is coming in this week feeling really confident. They may not be aware of the fact that you're ready to go. You know what I mean? They may not be aware of the fact that you're really ready to go. They may be thinking that this is, you know, a business as usual. We're just arguing. We're going back and forth. This is how we always interact. You know, they're coming in with Wheel of Fortune and Queen of Wands energy. So they're feeling pretty good in terms of uh, their lives, right? Um, things may have been a little bit bumpy for them recently with that Queen of Wands energy. They may have had to deal with some issues in their life, but I think the way you're coming at it is that a lot of the issues they were dealing with were pretty much affecting you in a very negative way. Nevertheless, they do have a Wheel of Fortune that comes in this week. That's some event that comes in that ultimately sets all of this in motion and it's quite good for them. In as much as if this relationship isn't working, the sooner you get out of it, the better. Okay, so something happens this week. Um, and it's a wheel of fortune for them, I want to say, because they're not as aware of what's happening here as you are, right? Like, it's it feels like a case of, I'm not happy, you know, Virgo, you're not happy with them. They are happy with you, but they don't really realize how unhappy you are. They don't really know what's why you're unhappy. And they're not they're not really taking it in that it may have something to do with the way they communicate with you or the way you guys are dealing with each other. They're kind of oblivious, right? And almost it's like they, they're not doing this on purpose necessarily. Two of wands again. Wow. And four of pentacles again for them. You're dealing with somebody who's got a lot of money issues. They want money. And you might be the one providing that money. 
Okay. And so for them, yeah, they feel great. They feel like they're on top of everything, but you're unhappy here. And so, uh, you're, de you know, <laughs> I'm not even sure that it's going to be that much of a shock to them when you walk away, because they almost seem as though like, okay, this is just how they operate. You may be dealing with somebody who is quote unquote, a gold digger. So, in as much as that when the goal dries up or when a relationship dries up, it's not even like they're that sort of emotionally upset about it. How do you see each other? Well, when you see them, you see Queen of Pentacles energy. And again, I'm going to say it almost feels as though you're dealing with somebody who just really, really cares about their stuff, right? They, they they care about what they're doing. They care about their goals and, and their money and their level and of status and all of that that affects them. And they're putting a lot of love and attention and care into that. But it's in a very sort of self-centered way. It's, there's no room really for caring about what you desire or want. Star is how they see you. Well, you're coming across as somebody who's extremely idealistic to them. Someone who has a particular dream, it almost feels as though like they're the type of person who's like, oh, wow, okay, Virgo's over here dreaming. I'm over here trying to get this money. And you guys just seem very much, it feels very much, Virgo, like you're just not on the same page, you know. Um, and you're ready to move forward, you know. Two of Wands is there. You're kind of like, all right, I'm ready to sort of really put that level of attention and care into my plans, into my health, into my sort of well-being and where I want to be at, right? Um, yeah, Virgo, what can I say? You know, you're dealing with somebody who's very shallow. You know, you're dealing with somebody who's very shallow. And also, right now, they're consumed with a lot of issues to do with money. And they may be looking to you to help them with that. You know, Ace of Cups. All right. You have an Ace of Cups here, a love connection. Mm hmm. Maybe that, you know, as you listen, I, I feel like you're walking away here. I really do. And this new love connect, this new Ace of Cups, this may be some love that comes in as they're realizing that you're fed up. And, you know, sometimes you deal with people, Virgo, who only love you when you're ready to leave. That's when they love you. That's when they're suddenly full of, oh, okay, we should be together. When you start to so show signs. But up until then, I mean, it's like, you know, how do they see themselves in this relationship? Three of Cups. It's like lots of partying. You know, they enjoy the partying. They enjoy the fun. <clears throat> um, but there's money issues, as I say, you know. I'm not sure that you're there for it. And again, how do you see yourself in a relationship? Well, you know, eight of cups, you're walking away. You know, you're like, you're done. You know, six of wands comes in, almost feels as though victory. Like you feel kind of victorious of having to sort of, of having been able to overcome this connection. Feels like a very shallow connection, Virgo, that up until now, it's really not served you quite well. You've been really annoyed at times. There are no love cups. There are no. There's no deep, intense love energy here, except for that Ace of Cups, which could be a new love connection that's coming in for your person, or it feels almost to me like it's them realizing that, hang on a second, maybe I love this Virgo, and maybe I need to actually act like it's more than just a jump off or act like it's more than just a source of money, Right. Um, I definitely think that they've been digging your gold for a minute, you know, but now that you're about to sort of walk away, things are really changing. It feels like to me, like all of a sudden there's this love spark. I think it'll be too late for you, though, Virgo. I mean, you have a lot of energy here that's really fed up. I mean, walk away, leaving, finally done putting down boundaries, you know, done, done with feeling toxic energy. Like you're just done. They're coming a little bit too little, too late with everything. Yeah. They're feeling great, but it's all been very uh, oblivious to how things are truly affecting you. And at the end of the day, their money, their situation with their money in particular is really taking precedent here. 
Six of Cups. Mm-hmm. For them. Three of Swords. There's your betrayal. So for some of you, uh, <laughs> feels almost like they're, you know, feels like, okay, on top of everything else, have they betrayed you in some kind of way? I don't feel third party energy here, but I do feel betrayal in a sense that it almost feels to me, uh, Virgo, like you're really coming to terms with the fact that this person was not, has not been about what they said they would be about. They haven't treated this connection with you the way you expected them to. Um, they may have said, oh, it'll be like this, but it wasn't. You know, it just seems like things did not turn out the way they started. You know, things just started to get very toxic. And from, from their point of view, I feel like you've known them for quite some time. From their point of view, I feel like towards, you know, as you finally pulled away and decided, look, I, I don't really feel this connection. It is exactly as I keep saying at that point that they begin to sort of be like, oh, I, I just, you know, love. They, they love bomb you. Some of you, they love bomb you to keep you. Okay. But up until now, it's really, as I say, it's been all about them. It's been all about their money. It's been all about what they want. Yeah, it's a, the relationship has been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of socializing and partying. But you walking away is when they really begin the whole like, oh, I love you, Virgo. Don't leave. I didn't mean it. Blah, blah, blah. Swan energy and elephant. Swan is water energy coming in, talking about refinement, refining your art getting deeper into your creativity, just handling situations with grace emotionally. Mm -hmm. So this is an animal spirit that uh, you want to embody right now at a time like this, you know, dealing with these type of situations with grace. I feel like this is a breakup, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit messy on this end down here because this person is going to really try to convince you that they're full of love and they didn't mean things. Elephant coming in. Elephant is the great destroyer of obstacles, fire energy. The elephant brings abundance and blessings, but the elephant is a strong animal spirit for overcoming hurdles and obstacles in your path. So whatever your obstacle is, Virgo, almost feels like this person is the obstacle. You know what I mean? Like there's something in your life that's budding, growing, coming in, and you're realizing it by real, you're realizing it. And you're also realizing that this person that you've been connected with here has been, is, is the obstacle to you getting that, whatever that thing is that you want, whatever that goal you have your eye on, you are very much like, okay, yeah, done here, done here, ready to move forward, ready to move forward. Again, do take care. Some of you are definitely going to get love bombed. You know, this person is really going to try to come in uh, to get you to react. King of Cups, you're not really reacting. I think you turn quite cold. Where you weren't cold before, I think you get quite cold with them. Spirit of the child, spirit of gold, and spirit of the fog. Yeah, innocent, immature, and adventurous, Virgo. All right. I think you're dealing with somebody who's resonating with this energy. They're very immature here. Uh, everything's fun and games until it isn't, you know, everything is just like, yeah, I don't care until your person begins to start to pull away. Then all of a sudden there's a lot of emotion, spirit of gold, wealth, status, windfall. Yeah. There's money issues here. I feel like Virgo, you might be quite successful. And this is one of the things that this person is quite desperate to hold on to and spirit of the fog. Oops. Spirit of the fog, unclear, confusion, shadiness. Right? Yeah, things are very unclear here because you're dealing with somebody who's not operating from a, a real genuine standpoint of loving you and wanting, you know, this is a very selfish person. And yeah, you've gotten, you got what you wanted out of them. I feel like, you know, you definitely got what you wanted out of, you got something out of it. But I, now this next week, if you're resonating with this reading Virgo, you're starting to realize that the person that you're with is very selfish, very self-centered. They have a lot of issues right now with money and stability in their money, stability in their life and their environment. They're looking to you to provide that stability. Um, 
But at the same time, there is a lot of toxicity that's been here in terms of communication and the dynamic between the two of you that you no longer can stand or tolerate. And so it feels to me like you're getting to a place of walking away and your person is really very much towards as soon as you begin to really pull your energy back and walk away from them is, is suddenly is, uh, will come with a lot of emotions, a lot of sort of, as I say, I keep saying love bombing and, oh, I, you know, this is weird. Why we're together. We're great. Not even arguing or begging, but more like trying to really sweet talk you and get you right back where they had you before. I'm not sure that it's going to work because King of Cups comes in and you are very controlled and measured with your emotions. You know what you want. You know how you feel. And I don't think they're going to be able to emotionally uh, manipulate you. So this is your outlook, Virgo, for the next, I'm going to say seven to 10 days. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you got something out of this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. But for right now, Virgo and Virgo Cross Watchers, I wish you all love, life, and happiness, and I hope to see you guys at your next Love Weekly. Bye-bye now.